Vera Newman was living in New York City in the late 40s with her husband and was bored to death and didn't know what to do so she basically started was the official she's the official first designer ever in the history of the world of fashion to come out with a scarf with a signature scarf basically before her there were no other designers that ever did any silk scarves with their design with their logo on their um, printed on the scarf because um, we're talking like pre, like world after World War II. It was very tacky. Um, we're talking where only fashion was accepted. High fashion was only accepted in Paris and in Italy, in France and in Italy. So Vera was one of the first designers that um, basically. Um, came out with her logo and she always has a little um, a little uh, bug because she liked the the, um, the ladybirds and um, so Vera does not only does um, linens for the home she also does women's clothes and her clothes are very highly collectible um, this is this is a dead stock Vera. It's it's um it's it's actually never been used and it still has the price and it it's um twenty dollars. This is back from the sixties was you know um twenty dollars was a lot of money for for a blouse that is just a cotton printed blouse. It's probably dated this probably is from like nineteen sixty six. Um, over here, um, these are the mod dresses from the 60s, and um, so th I don't know if they came with pants or shorts, but the signature um, is very important. It's really, really big. Um, Vera, when she started doing this, um, when she started making clothes, um, her signature was very, very small, like this one smaller than this and it became bigger as the years progressed and these two dresses are from the Mondrian edition and Yves Saint Laurent became really famous in 1966 because when he did the Mondrian dresses um, uh, the, well basically you know they're very highly collectible and they're I, I own two of the Vera dresses. I actually own more of the Mondrian dresses. I have them in every color and they're silk jerseys and they're very highly collectible. These are, um, these run up, um, they go for about, they start about $2,000 and they could go up to, um, in museums in the future when you, you can't really buy them, but I know that somebody sold one for two thousand dollars and I have the entire set um, this is an earlier version of the Vera which the with the with the with the little tiny signature um, and that's her signature trademark and um, so she's she used to this is her like re, this scarf is really rare because normally she never she um, she only did like really big huge flowers and 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 you know she knit the the scarves that she did with with like really intricate or just design like um I, how can i say it um the illustrations that she did in her earlier scarves this is from the 1950s are are very highly collectible but you really can't find them because they're all kind of like disintegrated with with um with with time and this is more of a like a 1970s print. It's a silk scarf. And now we're we're heading into the 70s with the wild prints. And all of the fabrics um, have her signature. You can barely see it because it's so small. And again, with the huge with the huge prints from the, the 1970s. Now um, my Vera collection is very very big. I think I have about, definitely I have over 1,000 pieces of Vera in clothing and in, in 
in scarves. I have I have over five thousand over five thousand scarves and I have over over two thousand linens and I have a lot of amazing um, rare things that she came out um, including dishes in 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 housewares for the home. Anyways. I'm getting all clumsy, but thanks for checking out my video. And this is just um, a tiny. <laughs> Anyways, more soon. Have a good night. <laughs>